Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to hopefully help you decide which server type you need to pick for your Minecraft server. So I'm going to explain as many server versions as I can, and if they have mods, if they can support plugins, and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get right in. So picking your server type is pretty easy. You go down to the jar and pre-install menu right here. Let's start with paper. So paper is the version that we recommend that you use. Paper is very, very well optimized, which means it runs really, really easy on your server, and you can run it on like the most budget servers. It also supports all plugins from Spigot and Bucket. So we really recommend you do pick this if you are doing an SMP or that sort of server. And as you can see, it does go from paper 1.17.1 all the way down to paper 1.8.8. Next, we'll go on to Spigot. Spigot was mainly used before paper came out, but now Spigot isn't really used that much anymore. So we do recommend you do pick paper as it says right here. Spigot does still support loads and loads of versions, but it does only support the Spigot plugins and not the Bucket plugins. Next, we'll go on to Craft Bucket, also known as just Bucket. So as you can see, this is already outdated. It doesn't even have 1.17, but it goes from 1.16.5 to 1.8.8. So bucket plugins will only work on this. Spigot ones will not work. So once again, if you're doing this sort of server type, we do recommend you pick paper. Next, we'll move on to proxy. Bungie is created by the Spigot developers, and it allows you to connect multiple servers together. So this is useful for servers that have big networks where they take you to different servers for maybe different mini games and stuff like that. Next we'll go to vanilla. So vanilla is just the base version of Minecraft. So we have all the new snapshots, 1.7.1, all the way down to Minecraft 1.2.5, which is very old. This will not allow you to add mods or plugins. Next we'll go to bedrock and then to Nucket. Nucket is obviously used for Bedrock servers, so if you do want to set up a Bedrock server, we do recommend that you do use Nucket. However, it only supports Nucket plugins, it does not support Bucket or Spigot plugins, only plugins made by Nucket themselves. And if we click Other, we have Custom Jar. Custom Jar simply just lets you put in your own jar file. So maybe if we don't have it on here, you can just add it in the Custom Jar. So on this page, we also do have Forge, but it is only 1.17.1. There is the other versions of Forge if we go to other pre-installs at the bottom. As you can see, there's loads of Forge and loads of Fabric. However, you will need Pebblehost Premium to do these, so if you do not have that, you will need to do them through Custom Jar itself. And we do have a tutorial on that, so there'll be a link to that in the description. So Forge supports all Forge mods, and Fabric supports all Fabric mods. However, they do not support plugins. So if you are looking for a modded playthrough, Forge or Fabric is the way to go. We do also have pre-installs for mod packs. We have loads and loads of them, but we'll go over them in a different video. But I hope this video has helped you come to a decision on which server type you should pick for your Minecraft server. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.